The Chinese government's economic stimulus package has made international headlines. So for more on that and other in economic and financial news, here's Annie Fu joining us from the business desk. Hi, Annie. Hi, Liu Xing. Thank you very much. Well, some experts are predicting that China's huge investment plan will boost growth in China's 2009 GDP by 1.8 percentage points. Now, they say the 4 trillion yuan investment will significantly increase domestic consumption and inject vigor into China's economic development while boosting market confidence as well. Now, economists say the current economic situation is more severe than in 1998. But the government's adoption of a moderately easy monetary policy should create a strong reaction from the market. They also expect additional interest rate cuts and decreases in bank reserve requirements. Experts say that although it's hard to prevent the global financial crisis from having any impact at all, it's still positive to see 8 to 9 percent growth in the Chinese economy. More measures to stabilize the domestic economy. A finance official says the country will provide more subsidies to the agricultural sector to encourage farmers to boost their output. Tsung Li Jing has more. Prices of agriculture inputs like fertilizer have risen dramatically this year, so the government announced three new yuan subsidies this year, injecting an additional 71 billion yuan into the agriculture industry. Add to that the green subsidies from before, the total agriculture subsidies for the year are at 86 billion yuan. This is led to 2008 being the year with the highest level of agriculture subsidies in China ever. The government has continuously proposed new subsidies for the agricultural sector in recent years. It will set a good foundation for the national economy and social stability especially the grain production subsidies which can stimulate uh, farmers' interest, raise their income, raise their consumption levels and narrow the gap between the urban and rural areas. It will encourage domestic consumption and boost the economy. According to the ministry officials, the government will take more measures to stabilize the grain market and protect farmers' incomes next year. It announced more grain subsidies and raised the government's grain purchasing price. It will also be more flexible in grain storage, imports and exports to control supplies and prices. In addition, it will take measures to raise the efficiency of the grain process from production through to sales. Chen Lijun, CCTV. Now, as part of its economic stimulus package, the Chinese government revealed on Tuesday the details of its value-added tax regime reforms. Guan Qing explains that the new rules will encourage technological upgrades at Chinese companies and boost domestic demand. The Chinese government says starting January 1st, the reforms will allow taxpayers to deduct the value-added tax paid on purchases of new equipment from other taxes owed. Fixed assets that can be deducted include big machinery and other equipment related to their production, while cars, motorcycles, and real estate have been excluded from the new system. It's the biggest ever tax card for Chinese companies. Analysts estimate that the reforms could lead to savings of 10 million yuan for investment projects of 100 million yuan. The reform of the value-added tax regime is an important move in reducing taxes on companies. The new rules will free up capital for companies to invest around the nation. But as experts explain, not all kinds of investment are encouraged by the new rules. Only when enterprises purchase new equipment and upgrade their technology can they enjoy the new policy. Analysts say the reforms will advance the industrial upgrading of the overall economy. As the ongoing financial crisis continues to negatively impact the real economy, experts say the expansion of the reforms nationwide will empower companies, increase competitiveness, and enhance their resistance to downturns in the future. In the end, it should help to cushion the blow incurred by the worsening world economy. Guan Xing CCTV. 
Well, China's central bank has implemented five new measures, part of monetary policy changes aimed at boosting the domestic economy. Now, the most important measures encourage banks to continue providing loans, freeing up 100 billion yuan for key infrastructure construction projects, and the purchase of agricultural products. Now, another, another measure increases financial support for small and medium enterprises and relief construction projects. The moves to boost the Chinese economy also address the liquidity issue in the financial markets, develop the financing function of the equity market, and improve financial services. We need some time to see the effects of these policies. According to the situation, we will adjust our guidelines and issue new policies to boost economic growth. Now, since 1998, China's monetary policies were either stable or tight, with the central bank's controls over the amount of loans that commercial banks can offer and its multiple interest rate and bank reserve rate hikes. Now, economists say China did that to curb heated investment and inflation, but now it's going to do the opposite. Since 1998, China's monetary policies was either stable or tight, with the central bank's controls over the amount of loans that commercial banks can offer and its multiple interest rate and bank reserve rate hikes. Economists say China did that to curb heated investment and inflation, but now it's going to do the opposite. China is encouraging investment now, and interest rate cuts can lower the cost of using borrowed capital. I would guess that there will be a 1% interest rate cut by the end of this year or next year. In the past two months, China's central bank has cut interest rate three times and bank reserve rate twice. Its adjustment of the pace of issuing bonds and the lifting of commercial bank loan controls were also noticed as signals of a significant monetary policy shift. Economists point out that a moderately easy monetary policy will be important in helping to implement the 4 trillion yuan stimulus package, and it should also boost investor confidence and lower the cost of investing, upgrading facilities, and updating products. Jun Jufeng, CCTV.